This video is an emergency, so much so that I even have a bit of stubble on my chin, which, believe me, is the first and last time you're going to see this because I look absolutely hideous. But even before I shaved, I had to make this video. Now, if you don't know, Helldivers 2 is out now and the game is just amazing. I have a common bit on this channel where I say like, you know, that th there's no games. The PS5 has no games. The Game Awards is called the No Game Awards. But finally, after years of waiting, we actually have a game. Now, this is a live service game, and obviously, we've had so many of them. We've had, you know, Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, and that game, I think, has already lost, like, 90% of its player base because the game was so just poorly made. Not in the traditional gameplay sense, but more in the sense that they tried to combine a story game with an online service model. And also the fact that when you beat the game, you don't even really beat it. You're told that you need to beat the same boss like eight more times because there's going to be eight more seasons. And then on top of that as well, the devs kind of panicked that so many people got annoyed at the ending that they quickly released that the Joker was going to be a playable character, which got even more backlash. When season one launches this March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad, the Joker. At least buy me dinner first. <laughs> But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Helldivers 2. Now, the original Helldivers 1, that was like a top-down game, but Helldivers 2, it is fully third-person. And I have put so many hours into this game. It is amazing. I love the wacky tone of the game. I love the factions in the game, except the automatons. They are the worst thing to ever exist. You'll quickly notice when playing Helldivers 2, 90% of the player base are dealing with the bugs because they don't want to fight the robots. I do not blame them. I'm making this transition because this is not a joke. Do you see this? 89,000 Helldivers right now where they need to be putting their lives down. There is 100... 250,000 lollygaggers in the umlaut section. I don't, I don't know what's happening over here. We need help. We need help immediately. I also like the amount of weapons you get in the game with like three of them actually being usable, but the drop-ins you can get are amazing. You can get these huge airstrikes that blow up half the map and some of them even warn you and say, you should probably tell your team before calling in this airstrike, you know, because it's probably going to kill everyone. If you're in a public lobby, you're not going to tell anyone and then everyone will die and maybe it's your fault. Probably not. At the minute, there are only two problems with Helldivers 2. First of all, being the escort missions, being possibly the worst set of missions I've ever seen in a video game. There's basically this one mission subset where you get a bunch of like human NPCs and you need to escort them to get from one building to the other. Oh God, oh no. But the problem is, if you do this on the higher difficulties, you will get absolutely rolled. Because usually, if you don't push back the enemies, especially if it's the automatons, they will just keep spawning in. So if you die and get called back in, you'll be dead again anyway. And one thing I've noticed as well when you're doing public games, which, by the way, you should never do. Always try to get a group of friends. But, you know, maybe you don't have any friends. Maybe you're forced to do a public lobby. What you'll find with most people, two minutes into a mission, they'll just pull out straight away because they feel like they're not going to win. Now, me, being the goofy goober that I am, actually stayed in a single mission until the end. Everyone left in the first two minutes. I was going to lose 100%, but I thought maybe, you know, fighting until the end, I think we saved like 20 out of 40 civilians. Maybe I'll get some kind of XP bonus, some kind of reward. No, nope, I got absolutely nothing. I dragged out a mission for 30 minutes completely on my own. I even put down an SOS beacon to call in reinforcements. No one wanted to join because it was a defense mission. And obviously the other problem with Helldivers 2, which is the entire point of this video, is the servers. Now, I'm not sure what is going on with the servers at the minute. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the studio that made Helldivers or it might be a problem on Sony's end because Sony obviously published the game. They bankrolled most of it. But Helldivers 2, a game that everyone loves at the minute, if you look at the reviews on Steam, it's basically 60%. It's mixed. Now that sounds really, really bad. Like what could be the problem to make a game so bad? The game is fine. It's just the servers. The servers for Helldivers 2 at the minute are a complete joke. Now, to be fair, in the game's defense, I really don't think they expected like a, a sequel to a game that no one really played to blow up overnight. The original game Helldivers came out in 2015 and I see like TikTok comments saying my dad played Helldivers because obviously the age of an average commenter on TikTok is like two years old. Now, just to put into comparison how big this game blew up, it overtook, I think, CSGO 2, Dota 2, which are like the mainstays on Steam. And it also overtook Pal World. But to be fair, Pal World, it was great for like a week, but it had absolutely no depth whatsoever. It still has a great player base, like well over 200,000 concurrent players. But still, compared to 2 million, it's basically running on 10% of its initial high. Also, a little side note on the game. This is just a personal experience. When you actually jump into Helldivers 2 for the first time after the tutorial, you can name your ship. Obviously, you can't call it, you know, whatever you want because everyone's just going to call it like, like a slur or something. But you can pick a bunch of pre-selected names like, like the, the Wing of Truth or something. And obviously, I called my ship Wings of Redemption, which they must have known. They must have known what they were doing to have such a name in there. Not gonna 
happen, buddy. It's not gonna happen. You go. Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck! You. Fuck! You. Also, another little side note on the initial side note, nine times out of 10 in this game, you will die from friendly fire. Because obviously your primary weapons, they're not really gonna do much against most of the enemies apart from the lesser ones. So you'll need, you know, explosives. Uh, for example, this clip of me learning that I can actually have a teammate reload my rockets and I experimented with it. Oh, that's great. I'm literally holding on to you. I'm I like it. Tim, uh, you can do not stand thing. in front of me. <laughs> now back to the focus i know i'm going off tangent a lot but like i'm just gushing over this game it's one of the first few games i played in like a couple of years that i'm genuinely enjoying i mean that and the tomb raider remaster that just came out they are both amazing games but the servers for hell divers 2 they obviously didn't expect like this much player base this much of a reaction how many people bought the game but the servers are basically just run by a hamster running on a wheel no you know what actually that that that's too nice it it's the little rat dog that you see in Blight Town in Dark Souls running on the wheel. That thing is powering the servers. Now, the servers for the past couple of days have actually been so horrendous that if you leave your PC on overnight to get into a lobby, there is still a chance that you're not getting in. Now, a lot of people have found ways to try and bypass this. Like, for example, if you get invited into a game or w when the screen goes black, if you turn it off and turn it on, it's like trying to understand Petscop lore. It is so difficult to try and find some kind of guide to get into the game without having to wait five hours. Like, for example, me last night i left my pc on for six hours i did a bunch of errands uh, i played tomb raider and I, I was still waiting to get into a lobby i even had to do a tweet at one point basically begging people to get off the game <laughs> to increase the chance of me getting in now the problem with the helldiver servers at the minute is it's a bit of a vicious cycle it's an incredibly popular game everyone wants to play it but another problem is the servers don't actually have any kind of like auto kick feature for people that are afk so if you look at the helldiver 2 servers right now you'll see on the right side are all the bugs, and on the left side are all the robots, the automatons. And then, dead in the center, you have Super Earth, your home base. Now, the thing is with Super Earth, you actually can't go there. You, you can't land there. Mostly because I'm assuming in a later day, Earth will actually be under attack, and then you, you know, have to basically save Earth. It's like a huge community effort. But at the minute, none of the opposing forces are anywhere near Earth. Despite that, you will see thousands and thousands, sometimes even tens of thousands of players, all situated on Super Earth. And if you see that, that basically basically means there are people that are AFK, they're not even playing the game, they left their PC or PS5 on overnight to try and get into the servers, they got in, but they're basically now just dead weight taking up space where other people could be playing because they're not playing the game. You cannot be on Super Earth until you actually boot into the game and then you pick a planet to go to. Hell divers! What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck off Super Earth, you fucking piece of shit! We have the fucking automatons! And the fucking bugs, and you're fucking stuck on Viking vacation going on fucking Super Earth. We're in the fucking Mantis right now, and you're on fucking Super Earth taking a fucking vacation. It's already liberated, you fucking pieces. I'm actually not sure what happens if the bugs or the automatons reach Earth. Hopefully, the game actually deletes itself with no refunds. Please give that as an answer to everyone that asks, by the way. I would love to spread lo 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 like a false rumor. <laughs> There's also been a bunch of screenshots leaked from the official Helldivers 2 servers. Some people even saying that they haven't logged off for three days straight because they're worried that if they turn their PC off and actually, you know, go to bed, then they're going to lose server priority and they're not going to be able to get into a game. I like this guy here on the bottom right corner. Taking a week-long trip to Afghanistan, so I'm probably going to leave my game running so I don't have to wait when I get back. And then you've got this guy here on the top right. Came here to observe my whiners for the day and just to say that I stay logged in on my ship all day to watch you all suffer. You're welcome. I mean, to be fair, from his profile picture, he looks like he reviews Nintendo Switch products, so I'm, I'm really not surprised. I've even seen some people compare this to the Payday 3 server situation but that was, I, I don't think it's fair to make that comparison. Payday 3 has completely died and it's honestly really sad looking at it right now. You even have the devs on Twitter replying to people with like three followers being like, yeah, thanks for the, thanks for the support guys. Thanks for the nice messages. And to be fair as well, it is very, very hard to get into a server in Helldivers 2. Maybe if you put some candles around the room, maybe if you do some kind of blood sacrifice, you'll eventually be able to get into a server. But Payday 3 was actually so horrendous. They basically had to kill the servers for two days straight straight after the game was released, which is just 
server suicide. It's a really sad situation because this is one of the few games I've seen that is actually bringing like, it's kind of bringing everyone together. I make so many jokes about like the console wars and how, you know, PC Master Race, PS5 has no games, Xbox has negative games because now Starfield is actually coming over to the PS5 and I think like five people are actually going to buy it. But there's actually articles talking about how the PS5 fan base want Helldivers 2 to be available on Xbox because that just means more people will be able to play together because obviously the game has crossplay. But even the Helldivers 2 boss at the minute is basically saying if you can't afford the game or if you're close to being broke if you buy the game, just don't bother buying it at the minute and just wait until later because it's pretty obvious that they're aware that the game just came out and unfortunately it does still have problems. I mean, honestly, they've only got to do two things. Fix the servers and get rid of the automatons completely. Just, just get rid of them. They're ruining the game.